Inside the Vatican's museum, there's yet another smaller museum that deals with the history of Pope mobiles. The so-called Carriage Pavilion was created by Pope Paul VI back in 1973. The exhibit covers this unique form of transportation which has been used by popes in the past two centuries. The oldest of the chariots is the Grand Gala Berlin used by Leo XII. And in 1931, the papal chariots gave way to motored cars, which is all marked in the vehicle registry. We have carriages from 1826, also the Grand Gala chariot ordered by Pope Leo XII that was made by the great Roman carriage makers. The exhibit moves on to the end of the 1800s and the start of the 1900s. The Landau carriage would be the last one used by popes because soon after the first motor vehicles were used. One of the crown jewels in the collection is the Fiat 1107, where John Paul II was shot on May 13, 1981. And of course, it holds great symbolism and importance for the church. There are also several chariots and cars that were used during papal ceremonies and also to take important church leaders from one point to another. And that includes the carriage French Emperor Napoleon III gave to Cardinal Luciano Luigi Bonaparte. The first motor vehicle rolled into the Vatican soon after the election of Pius XII in the 1920s, and is definitely one of a kind. We have the first automobile that came into the Vatican, the first papal car, which is a grand American-made Grand Page, based in Detroit, but which unfortunately no longer exists. So the first car officially used by a pope is also a very rare car, because there are very few models left in the whole world. And over the years, the papal cars have adapted to the times. After the 1975 Jubilee, the Pope used the first Pope mobile, which was an all-terrain white car used to make his way among the crowds.